What's going on guys? Welcome to today's vlog. It is Friday the 4th of October. Is it? Yeah. It is. It's the 4th. You got it right. I got it right for once and then doubted myself, which I never do do. I never doubt my, my own ability. But we are starting today's vlog in the house. We're just about to head over to the studio. Sarah's going to go and do a, a few bits over there. She's going to take Aurora's 8th month um, picture because we like log every time she has, she hits a milestone so shit the eight month milestone so we're gonna go over there and we're gonna go and um sort out a few bits at the studio i've got to swap over some prints because i've been on it and i've been really really focusing on it and, and getting stuff done over there i've got two more rolls of white filament as i explained yesterday that was broken coming today so i'll be able to get all of the rest of the first order armor finished within the next week to two weeks which is ideal because Jay's coming on the 15th or the 16th of this month so I'll be able to pass everything over to him then he'll be able to go back and he'll be able to start to put it together paint it make it look like it would be fit for any first order regiment so without further ado we're going to go and pick up some fruit because we're on a health kick now and head over to the studio then I'm going to go and pick the kids up then I'm going to go and get my hair cut with the boys because this hair has been well long overdue so uh, yeah the weather's picked up a bit. It's not raining now, so I don't know where this hurricane is, but it ain't in Manchester. A little longer than a few minutes later. Okay guys, we thought that we would check in because Dad has gone to school and left me and the gorgeous little girl here together. <laughs> yeah. And if any of you have noticed, I have dyed my hair right to the root, although I'm not, no, I can't really decide whether I really like it. It just seems really strange, could have gone right to the root. But it does need doing again, because as you can see, it's got like an orange tinge to it, but it's gonna still look a bit orange until it's been washed a couple of times, because if you didn't know this, when you actually bleach your hair, it does take at least three or four washes before all of the bleach comes out of your hair. So when you think it actually looks orange, it's still the bleach that's attached to your hair. Um, and then after, like three or four washes and it starts coming out that's why you notice it go whiter because it kind of just like washes away from the roots and stuff so in a couple of days when i wash this again it'll look more blonde than orange so yes <laughs> aurora i've just left her in the pajamas today because this suit is so cute and warm so well, it's not cute and warm now it's got a dinner all over it a new thing now is doing this with her shoulders let's see if we can get her to do it aurora do you love me? Do you love me? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Did you do it? Did you do it? Take. I, I don't know. You do it. You do it. <laughs> You're so cute. You're so cute. Yeah. So as you know, she's been on antibiotics for the last couple of days and it is working, I think. She seems a lot happier today. And, and she slept all night, all night. Sorry, I've got a clue between my teeth because I am on a health kick now. So I've been eating um, fruit. Anyway, look at this rain again. It just never, ever stops. Does it? She just loves this camera. She would literally just live in front of this camera all day long. Who's that? You don't know? You don't know? Is that you? Eddie. 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 Dada. Dada. Got food all over your face, haven't you? <coughs> so, we've. Had the heating on for a while now so it's like nice and cozy in here and warm just shut that door there just so the heat doesn't escape and it stays nice and warm in here for aurora i mean it's still a bit cool but it's not freezing cold not cold enough for her not to be able to be in here so anyway we're hopefully going to get a few pictures i'm just waiting for it to warm up a little bit more and then i'm going to get some pictures of her in a halloween dress and also hopefully get a picture of her with a um, uh, eight month um, milestone card with a bit of luck so that's what we're gonna do and I'm hoping that I get the rest of the kitchen 
finished because Dave came in before and he's like, oh, I really want you to finish it now. It looks so good and it's going to look really nice. I think that's just the point of him saying, you know what, can you just get off your ass and go and do the wallpapering because I'm sick of seeing it like that. It would have been easier for him just to have said that. But yes, yeah, so I've got to look after this princess because this princess is so poorly. Yes. And you're more important, aren't you? You don't know. <laughs> you don't know. Should we go and have a look over here? <gasps> Where do you want to go? <gasps> There's a balloon here. Do you want a balloon? Hey, you have to sit down. <laughs> do, you, do you want a balloon? Hey? <gasps> what is that? What is that? Hey? Do you want it? Oh, yay! Do I get hold of the end? Yeah. Get hold of the end. That's clever. Yay! <laughs> yay! You're so clever now. <laughs> You're so clever now. Is that a balloon? <gasps> Is that a balloon? Yeah. <laughs> I still can't believe that eight months have passed since she's been born. It just seems like, I don't know, but it just seems so strange because it feels like I haven't seen her as a bit like a tiny baby. I know we have and you have, but it just doesn't feel like, I think it's because I was old in a concert where I feel like I've not had that bond. Like when you see a new baby and you go around somebody's house or what like when I've had the other kids and they're like playing in the pram or playing under a mobile in the car and little things like that. She won't even go in a sleep pod. She won't go in a swing. And I think we kind of not had them moments, really, like properly, although she has sat in it. Um, I think that's why I kind of feel like I've not had a newborn baby because I've just constantly held her. But she's still so cute, yes. Like I was looking back at pictures this morning like on Instagram and in my folders on my phone and it just seems so long ago. Doesn't it? You'll need to shrink for a little bit. Yes, so you can be tiny again. Yes, you're gonna bite that balloon out you and pop it. You're gonna try and bite that balloon and pop it. Yes. You're so cute. I can just see that going in a minute. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? Mm. Do you get? Mm. <laughs> this child is just crazy. Anyway, I'm gonna go and get a few bits done and the kids should be back short. Like, well, I'm not sure whether they're coming back here. Mason has got detention after school tonight for not taking a piece of homework in, but he will learn to do his homework and then he will get detention. And then the boys are all gonna go and have their hair cut because they're in desperate need. And Mason's got a new girlfriend, so he needs his hair cut and he keeps saying, Mum, when am I gonna get my hair cut? Um, and they usually did have it, usually do have it done when they're going back to school, but because it wasn't that bad, we didn't actually have it done. Um, so yeah, once they're back then we'll check and see what they've been doing and then you can come and do some cleaning up with me because I've not been in here for a, a well, I can't remember what time I was in here. Um, so yeah, I need to clean up and I need to start getting this floor painted and we're going to get the Halloween decorations out as well and the Christmas decorations, they're going to be coming out too. So not too sure whether we're just going to decorate here for Halloween and we're going to decorate it for Christmas at home. So, we'll see. You'll soon know. Anyway, we'll see you soon. Okay, well the guys are gone and Dave's gone. I thought that I'd get the camera out for a little bit, put lights on and just start practicing with these lights because I don't really get much time to do it. So, obviously the floor's a little bit cold at the minute, so I've sat her on this cushion and she just keeps throwing herself back. Oh, she's not happy at all that she's got to be a model. <laughs> Are you telling Mama off? Hey. You don't know? Okay. She just looks like a 
tramp today. Sorry, but she looks not presentable. <laughs> but you're not well, are you? So we're just staying in jammies all day. Yes, and I'm sick of like cleaning her and putting clean clothes on her because she's just slavering constantly. So I've just been changing my baby clothes, but I left a bib on her today. Um, just to keep this a little bit dry because it's nice and thick and fleecy so hopefully I'll get home put a different one on her for a little bit and get this in the wash and wash it until um, I can go and get in a couple more because now the winter is kicking in she really needs like fleecy pyjamas so that's what we're going to do we're going to look for some new ones aren't we yes and then I'm hoping to get some Christmas decor decorations, Christmas pajamas for the boys next week, so we can do um, a shoot with them um, with like the Santa Claus. And then I'm trying to do one. I did actually do one of a row last night when she was sat on a chair, but because of the way that I took the picture of her, it doesn't actually look like she's sat on the chair. You could, you could, it does and it doesn't. You can. It, to me, you can kind of tell that she's been imposed. Where I want it to look like she was actually there. I don't want it to look like you can tell that I've just cropped it out of a picture and just stuck her on another one. So hopefully I'll get one of them done later on and be able to show you. Um, you know, but practice makes perfect, so that's what I'm doing. But I do want to upload like my first ones because I won't be able to go back and look at the progress that I'm making like over time. Um, but it is stressful. <laughs> if anybody is out there and a photographer, I'm going to learn to do digital backgrounds. Seriously, it is stressful. Learning all the different things you've got to do. Seriously, I thought, I thought photography was hard as it is on its own. But digital backgrounds, you've really got to know what you're doing. And there is a lot to take in. So I've been watching loads and loads of um, YouTube videos and I just keep going over and playing the same ones over and over and over just so it starts sinking in and I start remembering like keys and stuff. There's a few things that I just can't find. Um, I don't know why, but for some reason when I do it on my computer it just will not bring up um, what they're doing and it's exactly the same computer and you use exactly the same keys. So I don't know whether they've switched their keys around like in the settings and I've not done that to mine so I'll probably just have to have a look or figure out the way that you're supposed to do it on mine. See so I don't know whether mine's newer than theirs so it might be a different key on mine now but she's managed to get off this cushion. <laughs> she's managed to get off this cushion and she's going to try and roll away and leave her mama. Yes. Where are you going? <laughs> hey, where are you going? Where do you think you're going? Back on the cushion? Yeah? Say yeah? Yeah? Do you love me? Say yeah? Where are you going? So as you can tell we've got some paint here, this has just been painting, Imogen went to paint the floor, I don't know whether you can tell, but you can tell the patches there and said to her, no, that's the wrong paint, because down here has floor paint and the back wall here has um, just normal paint, so there's no shine on it, so when you take your pictures you don't get a glare off it. It doesn't really matter with the floor, because sometimes it's nice to have like a little reflection and it makes shadows look a lot nicer as well. Yes it does. Yes, I'm coming now. Anyway, just want to let you know. So, maybe I'll vlog a little bit of this and you can see how much of a nightmare Aurora really is when I want to take pictures of her.
guys, the kids have all just come back from school now. Although I've almost done and now we're gonna go on. So Mason sat here with Baby Aurora. Her best friend. <laughs> and they've had their hair cut now. Can you tell? You can see his ears. When he goes to school tomorrow, his girlfriend will go, Where's my boyfriend gone? Oh, sorry, Monday. It's, it feels like every day of the week to me anyway, so this before Dave left, he said, When I come back, darling, I'll tidy all that up for you. How did I know that he was lying? Why? Because this is what he does 24 7. Phone, phone, phone. Anyway, we just moved this table because it's not ours, it's um, the Salty Dancers. So we've just put this here for now, but I'm actually going to buy a new table for there. And then put that in the kitchen on the wall. I'm not too sure where though, because that wall's actually too thin for it to go on there, babe. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. Might have to go under the table. You have to knock Can you see Dave's ears now? He's had his hair cut. See my ears anyway. You couldn't. You were actually hidden. I looked at your hair before and it was like all down. Yeah, he was like, he was doing. I've got all this hair on yours. You're like, like him. Um, every time he, he moved his hair, he had to tuck the little bits behind his ear. Because they were that long. No, he didn't. Yes, he did. He really did. You know, he did. Anyway, we're going to get everything together and then we're going to go home because. They're just starting to mess around, so you can't clean up anymore when these are here because it's just become a playground. And this is not a playground, it is a working space. I'm hoping tomorrow, not tomorrow because we're going to Dave's mum's tomorrow because I've got birthday meal offer and yeah, probably Sunday I want to get this room started out because it is annoying me. And we've got a Halloween party at the end of the month, so I obviously want it to look respectful. So, we'll see you when we get on. Meanwhile, back in the lowlands. All right, guys, I'm just about to end today's vlog, but before I do end today's vlog, there is something that I want to share with you. Now, this is the most elusive chocolate bar available at the minute in the United Kingdom. In fact, it's that elusive that it's very, I thought it was fake. So I actually ran Cadbury's today and they told me it wasn't. Now, when I got my hair cut today with the boys, we went into the post office next door and they had it. This is the orange twirl. Now, I'm going to taste test it for you now because why wouldn't I? Well, this is the orange swirl. It's supposed to be quite nice. I'm going to share the experience with those who haven't had it and um, let you know what it's like and let you know if you should, in fact, get and sample an orange swirl. Let's smell it first. It smells, it doesn't smell strong of, of orange, but. Hmm. That is amazing. It's got like a little tang of orange at the end of it. I can't cope. I'm gonna have to go and finish the rest of it. Do not forget to smash the like button, subscribe if you're not already. Make sure you click the notification bell, it does nothing. Make sure you leave us a comment and we will see you guys tomorrow because we do this every single day.